uh, <clears throat> I was just down at Starbucks um, and having a conversation um, with the locals. Uh, and um, I mentioned a, a manifestation story, which um, if you know how how things <clears throat> manifest is signs of the times uh, and in actuality and in reality that's how we keep track of a long-term civilization project uh, with the short-term local seasonal alive um, of some sort so um, in one of my at home well not home I hate to use that word because I'm never home I'm just with you um, so, <clears throat> for him, uh, he had bought a birdcage for the backyard, or not, not a birdcage, he bought a birdhouse for the backyard, B-I-R-D-H-O-U-S-E, flat, normal birdhouse. He went to a local retail store. Now, they used to sell birdhouses, well, first of all, you used to make your own. But now that everything is for the Pussy Nation, where you'll have to go to a store and buy it already pre-made, uh, he now no longer even goes to a hardware store because they closed all of those because the big conglomerates took over. So you no longer go to a H-A-R-D-W-A-R-E-S-T-O-R-E, -E, like the local kind. You now get in your uh, reinvented wheel ergonomic system and you drive your stupid ass to a gigantic store uh, called Home Depot H-O-M-E-D-E-P-O-T um, and then you buy a pre-made one so he bought a pre-made red R-E-D the color the color red birdhouse um, with uh, it looks it actually from afar when you looked at it, it looked like um, the shape of a homestead, H-O-M-E-S-T-E-A-D. Uh, and it had a silver, S-I-L-V-E-R, metal, M-E-T-A-L, bar, B-A-R, uh, for the bird's um, claws to hold on to. <clears throat> so, he installs it, and he, the next day, calls to my attention how upset he is, and I said, what's the matter? And he said, the birds don't like it. He's like, in fact, they're avoiding the, bird, the birdhouse. I said, really? I said, that's interesting. I said, why do you think that is, Dad? And he said, well, I did some online research, and it turns out that birds don't like the color red. It actually, it actually turns them off. Like, and I'm like, really? It, it frightens them. I said, how interesting. A fa fun fact, I did not know uh, that all of the birds in New York were pre-programmed to not like red. <laughs> Go figure. Um, so he says to me, because uh, that's a sign of the times, because not all birds don't like red, but whatever. Um, it changes as the landing page gets into like more and more humans really count for nothing. Um, Alright, so <clears throat> Lewis says to me, um, he says, uh, why do you think, he's like, and, while we read on, he's like, and they don't like metal. He's like, so why do you think that Home Depot, the, the buyer for Home Depot, wouldn't know these things, Nicole? How could Home Depot, such a big, big store, hire somebody who doesn't know birdhouses to purchase birdhouses from a supplier? And I'm like, now, Lou, that's a very interesting question. I was like, well, tell me what you think first before I answer. And he's like, I, I just, he's like, I don't know. He says, I think that that is just, a, that just shows how uh, horrible Home Depot is as a corporation. I said, well, that's one way of looking at it. I was like, um, the other thing is, Lou, I was like, did you realize that um, the morons that they put into college 
and then they hire for these positions because like their dads have friends with other dads and like and it's my daughter or it's my son right and they put their dipshit children uh who are spoiled uh greedy uh stupid as all fucking hell uh barely can talk and chew gum at the same time that's who gets these jobs dad i was like while well, your daughter as smart as she is, can't even get anywhere close to the salary or the position as these dipshits kids. Right. Okay. So, um, no, Dad, they're not going to leaf through and research the supply chain people because they're not that smart, Dad. They don't give a shit. Their daddy took care of them. Now they got some cushy job. It pays the bills, the house. They get vacations, 401k. They have cars. Their kids will go to college. And the wheel of nobody gives a shit goes on. I said nobody takes pride in anything in the United States. Everybody gets something for free. And then there's a whole lot of people that expect stuff for free that don't belong. That's the way that this moron society is... It was built on. Hence the word more on. They constantly want more, mass, 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 mass. More, 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 more. That's the pussy American nation. And that's why you now have whatever. So I said, great. I said, so what are you going to do, Dad? He's like, well, now I have to paint it. I was like, oh, okay. Well, at least you like painting. And he's like, yeah, no, I know. He's like, let's see if that helps. I was like, all right. So he paints the top of the roof like a Colgate color, like the toothpaste, like a like a seafoam green, like turquoise-ish color, like if you combine the two. Um, and then uh, almost like the sky blue, but a little, like just a tinge of green in it. If you have a painter's eye, you can see the difference. Most people don't. Um, it's part of the Osiris project. Um, okay, so with the iris and what you're able to... Uh, whatever, um, decipher and pick up code-wise, okay, so from the environment, so, um, here we are, and then he painted the around the house, um, a dark, like, uh, almost like if you were to melt chocolate, um, like a dark chocolate bar to make, like, brownies or something, right, if you melt that, that color, he painted on the outside, he left the window rim, like, the molding or the, the trim around the window, the original red uh, and then he put a wood uh, unfinished wood bar instead of the metal he replaced it today I get up I look out my window and there are birds fighting to get into the birdhouse to feed now they weren't fighting when it was all red and a metal bar but the minute you put some color on it and you put a wooden bar, now there's an array, a myriad, M-Y-R-I-D, A-D, of plethora, like a, a variety of different birds fighting for the same food that they wouldn't touch when it was a metal bar and a red house. Do you see a similarity with you humans? Like, nobody's fighting over shit when it's a homogeneous uh, police state is what we told everybody. Nope, don't want to go there. It's violent. It's whatever. It's Meanwhile, it's a fucking paradise, or it was. The minute you're like, nope, we're taking away the police state, you put a bullhorn, you put newspapers over to Europe, you're like, yeah, no, nope, we've got mar money markets open, we have got rid of the police in New York, it's, it's, we're all good, we're like going to college ourselves now, it's not just the Royal Europeans going to college, we opened some of our own colleges, bullhorn on a newspaper that you sent over, and guess who gets wind of this elsewhere, I'm just curious. <laughs> or overhears it in conversations and then starts to move people onto the lands of the place that they don't belong. In fact, starts to pay participants to go dirty up the new lands just a little bit because they're mad about some business deal over in Europe. 
Just curious, because I know you go, first of all, you idiots don't even think from America that Europe even exists, um, or anything south of the equator. And second of all, I know that um, you are not smart enough to put yourself in someone else's shoes back in history. So, that's why I'm bringing this up. Um, because when it was a red house with a silver bar, America was a beautiful thing. And so was Canada. It was like a Viking haven. Um, and a breeding ground of, like, beauty. Once you painted the roof the same color as the sky and the house all brown and put a unfinished wood bar in front, now you made it more accommodating for everybody, which wasn't wanted, and now it becomes uncomfortable for everybody. The other thing is, uh, I mentioned real quick, <clears throat> I said... To Frank, I said two things. Uh, one is, I said, uh, what do you think the business meeting was like, Frank? At um, like going to like we all have wheels, right? But it's a horse-drawn carriage and cart, and it has a wheel. Uh, what do you think the business meeting and pitch was like for? I want to get rid of the horse completely, uh, and I want the carts to move on their own. Um, what do you think that business pitch was like, and who do you think was involved in that? Frank's like, what? And I'm like, no, I'm just curious, because, like, I woke up, and it's, like, 1978, and there's, uh, automated, like, there's no more horses anywhere, um, and everybody is driving around freely in a reinvented wheel system with magic, um, I'm just curious, between my grandfather's age, horse-drawn carriages, and when the cars were just starting to roll off the line to now, uh, what do you think the, how do you think they sold that really fucking stupid-ass idea to the public in America and in Europe? It's like, I have no idea. I was like, yeah, okay, no big deal. Um, I was like, and what about, um... I was like, uh, this other thing, I said, I had uh, worked for J.P. Morgan Chase a while back. I said, I found out I have a very small IRA. I was like, I went, I got a letter, I was going to call uh, and cash a little bit of it out so this way I have uh, something to survive on um, while I do whatever. Um, and while I was looking at the letter, um, I was like, at the bottom, it says that the Chase Insurance Agency, I was like, oh, first of all, I started with FINRA and SIPC. I said, you know, have you heard of what those are? Do you know what they do? He's like, that. okay, so I was like, one is the oversight committee and board that watches the insurance houses um, for the government. You know, it's kind of like a committee, like the stock exchange or the SEC, and FINRA is the insurance SIPC watches um, the uh, balances of the, um, it's like an insurance for the insurances, pretty much. FDIC is for the banking institution. For the I was like, and then it goes on to say, Chase Insurance Agency, comma, INC, is the quote-unquote CIA. What do you think that means, Frank? I'm just curious. He goes, and I was like, but now... And he's like, I don't know what you mean. And I go, well, here's the thing. I said, if I'm playing the attorney general for the moment, I was like, I didn't think that Chase could take on those three-letter acronym uh, as their own since it actually is a well-known acronym for the Central Intelligence Agency. You know, like, so uh, I think the Chase Insurance Agency was able to use the same... I was like, you think there's any, like, relation? Anything, like, going on there, like, between the two? And he's, like, looking at his phone, trying to ignore me. And it looks like he goes, oh, I'm so good at that. I'm like, no, I just, I uh, was just noticing things and wondering if, like, what you thought it meant. And he goes, I don't, I don't think it means anything. And I go, oh, okay. I was like, so, like, the name Chase, usually indicative of, like, you're on the run. So, like, I'm on the run, the insurance agency being the CIA, right, and then he started, then he broke into a smile, and I go, see, I was like, I knew I could make you smile, I was like, I was just curious if there was any relation, because he always makes fun of me that, like, I'll take one letter word, I'll spell it differently, and it'll have a whole nother connotation and meaning, I'm like, that's kind of how 
it originally came about, but okay, if we're going to play the game that, like, we're in stupid now and nobody knows how to read, write, or where words came from, okay, sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to end it there because I have a, a forensic velocity thing I want to talk about, but I'm almost at 15 minutes, so...